Hello everyone, welcome to Luxembourg in today's episode. Manufactured since 2014, the 2018 A3 Cabriolet is the first generation of A3 that comes with a sedan chassis and a power-operated roof. The A3 was convertible also in the previous generation, but on a hatchback chassis. Being a Cabriolet, you can imagine that it's not so common to see many on the streets on a daily basis. Assembled in Europe, in Germany and Hungary, the A3 convertible comes with almost the same features you would get in a hatchback or sedan. The version that we had on our trip was a 1.5 TFSI petrol engine with a 7-speed S-Tronic gearbox, cruise control, 16-inch alloy wheels and a 12.3-inch infotainment system for an estimated cost of 36,000 euros. Next, as you already know, I would like to make an analysis based on four aspects. Price versus what you get and what some other options are. Who should buy this car? What is its audience? Good things versus bad things? And last but not least, how was my experience driving it? What are the conclusions? More than 800 kilometers drove in our trip to Luxembourg. The car is comfortable and spacious, but it is interesting when you put the roof down. I would say it's not something impressive or an amazing experience, but if you never drove a convertible, you should try it. The trunk capacity is 320 liters, bigger than in the previous model, and if you make it convertible, this goes to 280 liters. But I would say it's more than enough for what you need. Competitors? 26,000 euros Volkswagen Beetle. 28,000 euros Mini Convertible. 26,500 euro Mazda MX-5. 38,000 euros BMW 2 Series. The audience for the A3 convertible? I would say couples who would like to enjoy a city break or a small vacation in the summer, most probably somewhere close to a beach. Firstly, I would say that it's not so amazing for the extra money you pay, the competitors look more interesting and I would have expected to be more fun to drive. Let's sum up! 3 days, almost 800 kilometers in Luxembourg. 
Last year we were at the Black Forest with the same car and I also drove the Volkswagen Beetle, so I'm not at the first experience driving a cabriolet. But I would definitely recommend you to try the experience because it's something different. The car is not spectacular, looks like a normal A3 at the interior, don't expect for a special feedback. For me, the Volkswagen Beetle was more fun to drive, had more personality, it's more romantic. I guess it has something to do with its predecessors.